Well, hello friends. This is Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today, oh my goodness, have you guys played with this Lily stamp yet? This is part of the Lasting Lily um, stamp set that you can get for free during celebration with a $100 order. This is a huge stamp set. It is a 16 piece, it's a photopolymer stamp set so you can see through the images. And there are some amazing sentiments on here. It's funny because a lot of times um, I tend to not look at the words so much as the images. So the images are beautiful with all of the beautiful, with the lilies, right? And all the different stems and leaves and things. But check out all of these awesome sentiments too. We've got this one that says, may the concept Constant love of caring friends bring you comfort and peace. Um, there's a thank you for your endless love and support. Our thoughts are with you and you are proof there is good in the world. Aren't those awesome? Then we've also got a dear friend. I adore you with sympathy today and always. And then this one's great. For the moments you can't put into words, that could be for so many different um, types of things, right? And then a wishing you well stamp or sentiment as well. So an awesome stamp set, the Lasting Lily stamp set. It's a celebration stamp set. You can get this free for with a $100 product order anytime between now and March 31. So don't wait. If you don't have this stamp set yet, there are so many great ideas out there on Pinterest and so on as well. I actually found this idea was um, on a display at a creative convention or a leadership event that I was just at over the weekend and it was on the display and it was one of those cards as soon as I saw it I was like I have got to go home and make this card so I'm trying to make sure to give proper credit I believe the display was so Tammy Ackerson, I believe, was the person who created this card. If not, it was Chris Colley. There was a little bit of confusion for me as far as who actually made this card. So it's either Tammy Ackerson or Chris Colley. They're both wonderful ladies, wonderful gals, and very creative as well. So thank you, Tammy and Chris, for your inspiration. And we are going to go ahead and get started making this card. The only th other thing I want to tell you guys is that this is a card that we are making at our online bingo event. Um, I decided I needed to do a video so that um, for the online portion of the bingo we could direct people when it's time to do the make and takes to the YouTube channel so that they can actually make this card. I send you all the parts and pieces for the card. I cannot do the stamping but I do the embossing and the die cutting. So if you're watching this in terms of um, the online bingo event, you're gonna either grab your Lasting Lily stamp set or another flower stamp set that's gonna fit in here. And then um, I use the sentiment, our thoughts are with you on this card. So if you don't have, again, the Lasting Lily, just grab another sentiment that's gonna kind of fit down in the corner of the card there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we start with, that was one of the questions because I posted pictures on our Facebook group of a bunch of um, the cards that were displayed and that was one of the questions was what were the colors that they used on this card so I believe it was a Highland Heather card base so that's what I have here is my cardstock my eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock so along the eleven inch side I've got that skewed a little bit we oh, excuse me we cut it in half at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches to make as always that nice crisp fold on our card the only actually we've got two other pieces that you need to know dimensions for the gorgeous grape piece that we are going to emboss this piece measures two inches by five and a quarter inches and then i have a piece of basic gray cardstock that measures two and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. And then I just have a scrap piece of Whisper White that I am going to die cut that rectangle stitched framelit right there. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's do our die cutting and our embossing and then we will do our stamping. So let's see, I'm gonna grab these things, scoot them out of the way a little bit. I need my big shot. We are gonna do our die cutting first. I will show you, <clears throat> we are using the rectangle stitched framelits and if you can see, this is an amazing set of framelits that stitch kind of on the outside and the inside as well of the paper. So you might want to make a window that has the stitching and then you can kind of peek through. We're kind of using the inside portion, but this is the framelit. It's the largest one that's kind of the tall and skinny is the framelit that we are using on our Whisper White cardstock. 
So we're gonna crank our handle. We've got our magnetic platform on our Big Shot, one clear cutting pad underneath, and the other one on top. And we are gonna crank our handle and make our rectangle with the stitching on it. Okay, so this is what I wanna show you guys. If you haven't played with these yet, can you see so it makes the stitching? So you could kind of use this as like a window on a card, probably not this exact piece, but maybe, right? So that we're gonna kind of get rid of this, but I wanted you to see how it does the stitching on the outside of the framelit and then on the inside of the framelit as well. Isn't that awesome? And so many, I was gonna count actually, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think it's 13 of these rectangle framelits. So a ton of framelits in that set there. Okay, next we are going to, we need our regular, excuse me, big shot platform. And we are using the tin tile embossing folder that came out in our holiday catalog. It is still available. I will include item codes for everything, all of the um, products that we're using on the card today. I'll include those in the details of the YouTube video. So if you did not get this awesome tin tile embossing folder, um, when the holiday catalog was live, you can still order it. There are a number of items that they have carried over that are still available. So this is one of them. Okay, so if you can see, there's a little line right up there. So I'm trying to kind of space it evenly. Um, make sure it's straight along that line, and then I'm trying to kind of line that up so it looks pretty even there as well. And... You know what? I think it moved when I closed it. This is kind of the trick, right? Is trying to get this in here and probably in the view of the video too. Okay, bear with me. Sometimes I get a little bit anal and I probably should just like lose that, a little bit of that sometimes. But you know, I want it to look good, right? Isn't that funny? I think it's because I'm doing the video. I did a bunch of these last night without nearly as much effort as this is taking right now, but there we go. Okay, so we have our, our regular Big Shot platform, my tin tile embossing folder, and then just one clear cutting pad on top because this is one of our thick, um, the dynamic texture impression embossing folders. I'm gonna go back and forth with this. So you only need one of the clear cutting pads, not two of them, okay? And then, ooh, 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 check that out. And I never, I think the reason why I really love this card was the gorgeous grape embossed with that embossing folder. I, you know, this tin tile, I kind of think of like whites and kind of neutrals being embossed with it. So it was really fun to see the bright purple and I love it. So yeah, I just knew I had to try it, right? Okay, so let's see. We actually, I want to use my little paper piercing mat. So I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna put a little bit of scrap paper actually right over top of the whole thing because I don't want, when we stamp that stem for our flower, it's gonna go off the edge and I don't wanna stamp on my paper piercing mat. Okay. So we have our gorgeous grape ink. We're gonna start with that one. Okay, we're gonna ink up our lily stamp. So I'm doing my tap, tap, tap. Let's make sure, <laughs> I'm trying to see where is it on there. Okay, and we're gonna press down. And I am not wiggling or rocking, but I am kind of pressing firmly to make sure I get all of that ink off. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Okay, and then we are using Granny Apple Green ink for the stem. Sometimes these are still a little bit fussy for me trying to open them. Okay, so again, the nice easy, can you guys see that tap, tap, tap in there? This is why I wanted that scrap piece of paper because I'm definitely gonna go off the edge here. So we're gonna do that right there. Okay, and then the only other thing that we need to do, and I might actually, I'm gonna hold off a sec before I do my coloring on the little stem inside there. Let's go ahead and put everything together and then we'll do our coloring very last. Okay, so we don't need that guy anymore. We are going to put some dimensionals on the back of our white piece. So we're gonna pop him up on top of our basic gray piece. So we're putting dimensionals on the back of there. I like to do quite a few dimensionals when I have a bigger piece like this because I don't, Otherwise, I think it tends to get a little like rumply or kind of curvy looking. So you want to put enough dimensionals on the back there that it kind of supports it. Okay, so this piece, we're just going to kind of center this right inside of there, right? 
Then we are going to put, and I'm going to use my fast fuse because I still have it. If not, I would just use a really good amount of snail because of all the texture on this paper. Again, I don't like it to be rumpled up. I want it to be nice and flat on my card. So I'm going to add him on right about there. I'm going to press firmly to make sure it's nice and flat on there. And then I'm going to add some more adhesive to the back of this guy. So you can see it's a simple card, but it packs a lot of wow, I believe. And I typically I like to do my stamping first, but I wanted to get this guy on here so I knew where I was going to stamp that last little sentiment, our thoughts are with you. You really only get one try on this one. Usually you have two tries, but you're stamping right on the card base itself. So again, my nice easy tap, tap, tap. And I love the photopolymer. You can see right through that. Kind of pressing straight up and down. And then there we go. Our thoughts are with you. Let's do our coloring. So just a little bit of detail I am using. This is my, can you guys see that? The light pumpkin pie marker. And I use the skinny tip and just inside this little stem here, it just kind of added a little uh, contrast, I guess, really. So I'm just kind of coloring, swirling around, blending it out a little bit. I think that looks good. It just kind of pops a little bit for me. And then last step, so super simple. This is some of that white polka dot tool ribbon that we all love, right? So we just tied this in a little knot. So it's just kind of a real simple little added detail. And I don't like to pull too hard. There we go. And my glue dots. Actually, let's trim this off first, right? So we're going to trim that little guy there. And I'm going to grab my glue dots find the next glue dot in line here. We're just going to kind of pop that. Oops, I didn't get it. There we go. I'm going to put that maybe right about there. And that's a little bit long, so I'm going to trim him off just a titch there. And I like to make it angled, so I'm going to kind of angle that guy a little bit like that too. Oops, I thought I had it in my hand and I did not. So there we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that awesome? I am just, I love, this is one of our distinctive stamps too, um, the Lasting Lily stamp set. So it's just got lots and lots of detail in there as well. So I hope you enjoyed this card. If you're playing bingo with me tonight, I hope you are enjoying online bingo as well. I will be announcing another date for online bingo coming up shortly. So if you're interested and would like to play online bingo with us, let me know and I can get you signed up for the next event. Um, in the meantime, there are always details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com about upcoming classes and events. And like I said, I'm going to put all of the item codes for everything that we used on this card so that if you haven't earned this stamp set yet, go ahead and put your $100 order in. Maybe get some of the products that we used on this card and you can get the Lasting Lily stamp set for free. Make sure to shop online at amysuzanne.stampinup.com. And also make sure to grab the host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. It's on that right-hand side toolbar. When you use that host code, you always get a free embellishment from me when you spend at least $50. So thanks so much for watching. Happy bingo playing, ladies, if you're doing that with me tonight. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.